On the left hand side, 6x squared plus 23x plus 21 can be written as 6x squared plus 14x plus 9x plus 21 which is equal to 2x times 3x plus 7 plus 3 times 3x plus 7 which is equal to 2x plus 3 times 3x plus 7. On the right hand side, 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 is equal to 2x plus 3 whole square. Substituting these values, the given equation becomes log of 2x plus 3 times 3x plus 7 to the base 2x plus 3 is equal to 4 minus log of 2x plus 3 whole square to the base 3x plus 7. Now using properties of logarithms, this last term can be written as 2 times log of 2x plus 3 to the base 3x plus 7. Again using properties of logarithms, the left hand side is equal to log of 2x plus 3 to the base 2x plus 3 plus log of 3x plus 7 to the base 2x plus 3. And this is equal to the right hand side which is 4 minus 2 times log of 2x plus 3 to the base 3x plus 7. Now on the left hand side the first term is equal to 1. And therefore, this equation becomes log of 3x plus 7 to the base 2x plus 3 is equal to 3 minus 2 times log of 2x plus 3 to the base 3x plus 7. Now, notice that on the right hand side, using properties of logarithms, log of 2x plus 3 to the base 3x plus 7 is equal to log of 3x plus 7 to the base 2x plus 3. Now if we let log of 3x plus 7 to the base 2x plus 3 be equal to z, then the above equation becomes z is equal to 3 minus 2 upon z, which implies that z square minus 3z plus 2 is equal to 0, which implies that z minus 1 times z minus 2 is equal to 0. Or in other words, z is equal to 1 or z is equal to 2. Now in the first case, when z is equal to 1, log of 3x plus 7 to the base 2x plus 3 is equal to 1 which implies that 3x plus 7 is equal to 2x plus 3 and therefore x is equal to minus 4. In the second case when z is equal to 2 log of 3x plus 7 to the base 2x plus 3 is equal to 2 which implies that 3x plus 7 is equal to 2x plus 3 whole square which is equal to 4x square plus 12x plus 9 and this simplifies to 4x square plus 9x plus 2 is equal to 0 which implies that 4x square plus 8x plus x plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, 4x times in brackets x plus 2 plus x plus 2 is equal to 0, which implies that 4x plus 1 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. And therefore, x is equal to minus 2 or minus 1 upon 4 in this case. Therefore, the possible values of x are minus 4, minus 2 and minus 1 upon 4. Now we go back to the original equation which is log of 
log of 2x plus 3 times 3x plus 7 on the base 2x plus 3 is equal to 4 minus 2 times log of 2x plus 3 to the base 3x plus 7. This is defined when 2x plus 3 is positive and 3x plus 7 is positive. Therefore, the terms on the left hand side and the right hand side are defined when x is greater than minus 3 upon 2 and x is greater than minus 7 upon 3. Or in other words, x is greater than minus 1.5 and x is greater than minus 2.3. Now both of these conditions are satisfied when x is greater than minus 3 upon 2. Let's call this condition 1. Now note that of the three solutions obtained above, x is equal to minus 4 and x is equal to minus 2 do not satisfy condition 1. It therefore follows that x is equal to minus 1 upon 4 is the only solution to the given equation, which is the required answer.